Welcome everyone, I'm Ewald, Head of Software at Finospecs, and uh, I would like to thank NAPPN for this opportunity. And I would like to talk to you about our insights we gained after being 10 years uh, in the industry as, as an industrial uh, partner. Um, so our main aim is uh, to provide phenotyping solutions. And for us, that's a solution to improve the efficiency uh, in agricultural tasks or, or research, like, for example, improving uh, germination assays, disease screenings, and so on. And we believe that this can be done through, te through te technology. Uh, and the basis, therefore, of course, is capturing your plant digitally. Because if you can capture your plant digitally, you can easily start automation processes, which would immediately uh, improve uh, the efficiency. And therefore, our uh, team, our hardware team, has worked hard to come up and design uh, sensors like uh, 3D scanner gravimetrical sensor sensors that can operate in uh, various environments. So really in the environments where plants grow. Um, then as a, as a second step, we added those sensors into phenotyping platforms, high throughput platforms that can run in fields, in greenhouses, uh, automatically or, or even in labs. Uh, but there we soon came to realize that most of our customers uh, were, are not used to work with those raw 3D data. Uh, they rather go in a greenhouse, they measure the height, the leaf area, or they weigh the plant. Um, so that's still far from this 3D scan. And that's why in a second phase, we started to develop uh, um, uh, an algorithm that could convert this 3D file in uh, plant parameters, like you see here, the height, the leaf area at angle, and later we added also the spectral indices after we updated and improved our sensors to also capture light and infrared uh, reflectance. Right, so to sum up, we now have a scanner, we have an automation platform, and we can automatically convert uh, this raw data into plant parameters that a customer can easily download. And while most of our customers are working and can integrate this data easily into their analysis pipeline, we still have a few use cases left where the customer expects us to provide their variable that they're used to, to integrate into their workflow. And a very good example of this is uh, a disease screening, for example. So there we have uh, mostly a disease score that they measure. And uh, this disease score is then used in, in further steps to make eventually a decision which uh, species uh, ha uh, exhibits the most tolerance to the disease. But you can already imagine that with all the species and treatments around, uh, that we need to develop a very specific algorithm to, to these combinations, and that this is not very economically uh, realistic. Uh, because we cannot keep on developing, maintaining, supporting all of these specific uh, algorithms. That is why now in a third phase, we just initialized uh, a new module in our software, which includes machine learning. And the idea is that a customer can upload their own uh, variable that they manually measured, and then select uh, uh, input variables, which are our phenospecs variables, like the height or the spectral indices, and that the software will come up with the best model to predict this output variable. Let me show you uh, this in, in uh, the next slide, where uh, we have a screenshot ready, uh, where a customer uploaded uh, fresh biomass, uh, which is a bit of the holy grail in plant phenotyping, because it's a destructive measurement, uh, which you can, of course, only measure at the end of your experiment, while it might be very interesting to also follow up uh, during the growth cycle and uh, the stress progression. So therefore, a very accurate uh, approximation of this variable of fresh biomass is, is key for some customers. To conclude, I would like to send out a warm invite for collaboration, as we are doing with some customers already. Uh, where we, for us, it's really interesting to see which uh, machine learning algorithms we can apply in certain situations. Uh, and then further, of course, I would like to wish you uh, a very nice conference and uh, see you around. Bye.